Have you ever been in a situation whereby at the end of giving a presentation, you are almost hitting your head on the table asking yourself, how did I forget that? How did I leave out those words? Or you were wondering if there was a better sequence or delivery to that presentation that you made. Yeah, I know that feeling. I've been there also before in the past and I know what it feels like. And in this video, I want to show you how to avoid finding yourself in that situation or that circumstance. And in this video, I'm going to be answering the question, how do I remember the things that I want to share on stage? How do I remember the things that I want to share on stage? In my years of helping individuals become confident to deliver compelling presentations, I've come to find out that one of the reasons why they have fear and anxiety while they are on stage is because they are afraid they will forget their lines. They are afraid that they will mix up their words. They are afraid that they will not find the right words to express the idea or the thoughts that they have in their head at that particular point in time. And this makes them go up on stage and indeed forget what it is uh, that they intended to share. Now, there are two reasons why you always find yourself in this situation. One, you are indeed afraid that you, you, that you forget your lines. Okay, so fear is real. If you are afraid indeed that you would forget what it is that you want to say, you are most likely going to forget what it is that you want to say. Okay, and then the other reason is that you don't, you don't have enough vocabulary, okay, to help yourself out, uh, out there while you are on stage. Now, how do you avoid being in such a situation? How do you avoid being in such a situation? There are, th there are two things uh, that you need uh, to be able to do to ensure that you don't forget what exactly it is uh, that you want to share while you are up on stage. Now, the first one is this, okay? You need to know what response it is that you want to elicit from your audience. What response it is that you want to elicit from your audience okay and then you need to know what words that you are going to that you're going to use or that you're going to need to elicit this response uh, from your audience i'll take that again you need to understand what is the response that you want to get from your audience and what words will enable you to get that response if you get these two things right you are most likely going to go up on stage remembering the things that you want to say the sequence in which you want to say them and then say them just as you and even if not better than you uh, intended to say them. Now, uh, I know that these things are not things that just come up on, or come up on you or that just go up on stage and then it happens uh, that way. You need to be able to prepare and practice. Now, the place of preparation is where you know the response you want to elicit and you find the words, the right words, that will help you get that response. Now, the place of, prepar of, of uh, preparation or practice, as it were, is where you now, you know, use these words, use these words, you're speaking before a mock audience, you're speaking before a, a mirror, you're speaking before uh, your, your phone, okay? Just something that helps you to ingrain this sequence into your head such that it becomes a part and parcel of you and then when you are up on stage you are simply relieving the things that you have practiced in the past so if you want to find yourself in a situation whereby you remember exactly the words that you want to share with your audience right know the words know the response and then prepare and practice and i can guarantee you that every time you do this you are most likely never going to forget what it is that you want to share with your audience while you are up on stage. My name is Tosin Odedele. If you found this video very useful, do well to share it with somebody that needs to watch it, learn it, and practice it. Click on the subscribe button below and the notification button so that you can be aware of a new video when it comes out. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.